And so Sir Fox, triumphant over the dragon, was on his way back with the severed head of the beast. When the kingdom of Westripple heard of the news, they celebrated in the streets, praising the name Simon G. Fox, the Dragon Slayer, he who cut it off the dragon's head in one swift blow after a month of battle. So the news was spread. The truth, however, was quite different. Edgar, did you send a pigeon with the news to West Ripple, describing how we beat the dragon? Yes, me lord. I think everyone will be very happy the dragon is dead, me lord. Yes, and I, because I will win my prize woman now. <laughs> yes, me lord. We sure were lucky the dragon died of explosive diarrhea right when we attacked it. Shut up, Edgar. I don't want to be reminded of that ever again. And never again will you mention this, you swine, or I shall cut out your tongue. Do you understand? Yes, me lord. It's bad enough it took us a month of cutting to take off that stinking beast's head. And on they went, telling one another how they will exploit their riches and fame when they return to the castle. But what they didn't notice was that along the road in the bushes, a mysterious figure had been lurking and listening with utmost interest. Sorry to bother you, kind sir. Good God, does your undertaker know you got up, woman? Excuse me? Be on your way and be quick about it. I could not help but hear your conversation on how you didn't slay the dragon. Uh huh, did you? Mm, yes, my lord. I would think you'd rather have no one know about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Well, don't worry, my lord, I will be very generous. One gold piece for my silence. One gold piece, eh? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Do you really think anyone would believe a daft old cow like you over a celebrated lord like me? <laughs> Silly goat. <laughs> <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> How dare I? Ah, oh, me lord, she's a witch! Dark God, what now? How dare you treat a sister of the dark this way? You, sir, have no manners! Get the hell out of my way, you senile cunt! Oh no, me lord! You will not be going anywhere. You have angered a sister of the dark, and you must pay the consequences by answering a riddle. You better listen, me lord. We're stuck. God damn it! All right, woman, what be this riddle then? Give me food and I will live. Give me water and I will die. What am I? You have three chances. A sword, now let me pass. No, I'm afraid not, sir. Damn it, Edgar, guess what it is. Um, um, I don't know, a flower? A flower? What are you even trying, boy? <laughs> no. One more chance. Listen here, you nasty, rotten old bitch. I had enough of your sad, old, poor existence. It's hard enough for me to even be near the smell of your still spazzing carcass. How dare you insult me in such a manner? No one deserves to be treated in such a way, you dog. There is, there is no more hope. No more chances. There is only darkness in your heart. You are beyond redemption. Therefore, I curse you with big noses. <laughs> and because of your rudeness, I shall disappear the dragon's head. I'll let all of West Ripple know that you did not kill the dragon. Hocus pocus, shibble lady. Congress <laughs> man. Ugh. 
You know, Edgar, if more people would treat situations like I would, a lot of them would save themselves a lot of trouble of all this cursed nonsense. I say, me lord, you sure did handle the situation quite well. Ah, <laughs> did you see the look on her dying face? That was priceless. <laughs> yes, me lord, she didn't know what hit her. I did, my blade! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I think the answer was fire. I don't care.